What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am gonna be ranking every single main series Pokemon game from S tier to D tier. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first game on this list is Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. Now, this game I have a lot of nostalgia for. I remember picking up this game when it first came out and in going home and instantly putting it in my 3DS and playing it. I had a bunch of fun with this game, over probably 200 hours, and I think it was a pretty good remake. It added some new stuff with, you know, Latias and Latios, and being able to catch new legendary Pokemon, or the old legendary Pokemon, but in, a, in this new game. So I think I'm going to put this game at A tier. The next game here is Pokemon Black 2. And another really really good game and I think a lot of people can agree on me with this saying that the black and white games were some of the best games in the series with one of the best stories they added a bunch of new stuff like uh, three on three battles which there wasn't too many in the main game but still kind of unique way to play the game and Again, I'm, I'm going to say this probably with every single game except maybe the new ones, but I have a lot of nostalgia for this one too because Pokemon Black and Black 2 were, I think, the second ever Pokemon games I ever played. So for Black 2, I'm going to put it also at an A tier. And the next one is Pokemon Black. More the same of Black 2. I think it did really, really well. Uh, but one thing that I think it was kind of weird what they did was they made Pokemon Black and White, but then right after and they made Pokemon Black and White 2, and they didn't make a new game. They also did that with Sun, and then they made Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But still, I think the, the fifth generation of the games are good, so I'm going to put that at A tier as well. Now we're going to what... You know, the games that started it all, and that is Pokemon Red and Pokemon Blue here. Now, these games I actually have played very little of. I have played them and beat them a long time ago. But, to be honest, I rather would play Fire Red and Leaf Green. But still, really, really, you know, good games to start off that classic franchise. So, I think I'm going to put... The first generation of games just at a B tier now the reason I'm putting it at a B tier is because the graphics you know they're not the best but they don't have to be it's still really really good game a game that started a series of so many games and it's the like most selling games of all time so I'm gonna put it at B tier just because I think Fire Red and Leaf Green are a little bit better than the original Red, Blue, and Yellow. So, the next game here, on the Game Boy Color, we got Pokemon Sapphire. Um, like I said in the intro, I haven't really played this game too, too much. I, I have played it in the past, we used to have it, but I don't really remember if I ever beat it. But I have beat uh, the Gen 3 games on uh, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and I do like the region. I think the uh, the starters are some of the best starters. You know, you got Totodile, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, really great starters. So I think I'm gonna put this one also at a B tier. And the reason I'm putting it at a B tier because I think the remakes were a great game that you know they remade the game but they also had a ton of new stuff and they added it where you could go back to Kanto the first region in the older title or the newer title so I'm gonna put that at a solid B tier now let's talk about my first ever Pokemon game now rather this is the other version but Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Pokemon Pearl was the first ever Pokemon game that I played and is one of my favorite games till this day. Now a lot of people say that Gen 4 is one of the worst, or I feel like one of the worst uh, 
gens just because it's super slow and the you know it's just a slower game and everything but it has a really deep connection in my heart just because again it was the game that got me into Pokemon in the first place and led me to playing every single one of these games but with the game being kind of slow I think I don't think I can put it at an S tier so I think I'm gonna have to put this one at an A tier not quite an S yet but this next game I think will be an S tier and that is Pokemon Emerald version this is one of my favorite Pokemon games ever made I played this game so much growing up on our Game Boy SP and I have it's one of my favorite regions and honestly might be my favorite game in this series and Pokemon Emerald is just an amazing amazing game I love Hoenn you know I love Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby great remakes but Emerald was just a masterpiece of a game and that's why I'm putting it at S tier. Let's get into Pokemon Fire Red next. This is a game that like I said earlier I think is better than the original series just because of you know the enhanced graphics it's on Game Boy Advance and I'm a guy who likes having decent graphics but you know, again, graphics don't really matter too much, but the gameplay is still the same. I think that this is a solid S tier, baby. I have played this game so many times, and this might be kind of controversial, maybe put, some people put A, B tier, but this was another game I played so much growing up, beat it so many times, and I played this game so much that I like memorize what to do every single gameplay this is the game that uh, you know made me really really love Charmander who is my favorite Pokemon of all time still because of this game because I chose Charmander so much it's just it's a really really great game I have a lot of good memories with it so that's why I'm putting it at S tier might as well put Leaf Freed in here also because it's the same game now we're gonna just put this down here with that because it's the same region same game but here we get into the remakes of that game Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver I got these game for Christmas actually in 2016 and this was one of the games I actually never played until then and I remember playing it and actually having a lot of fun with it and being a really really great great game and I actually have it uh, still to this day in the big box that's right I have it on my shelf big box and it's worth like three hundred four hundred dollars I think right now but I am not gonna sell it because this game was really really fun and I think they did a really good job with having extra gameplay after you beat the main story you can go back to Kanto but one of the my favorite things about it is well you, you could go back and you could challenge red with his original team and I thought that was so cool so I'm gonna put this one at a solid a tier now we're gonna get into some of the switch games here Pokemon let's go Eevee and Pikachu now these games are all right to me these were actually the first game I ever played on my switch when I got it back in 2018 was Pokemon let's go Pikachu um, but it's just I don't know I I like the mechanic of using your joy cons and being able to like throw the pokeball like in Pokemon go but the game was super super easy compared to you know fire and red leaf green and just red and blue but I think the reason they did that was to kind of have a beginner Pokemon on the switch before they made a mainline series switch which is all right I get it but the game was a little too easy and it didn't leave me uh, really invested in it after playing it it didn't really want I didn't really want to do anything else after I beat it unfortunately but I think it's still a, an alright game, so really it could go in between B and C tier for me personally. But I think I'll just put it at B tier because I don't think it's quite C tier level 
to be honest. Alrighty, now Pokemon Moon is up. So the Sun and Moon series was a game that I remember waiting and waiting to play and I was so hyped for back in, uh, this, this released in 2016 I believe. Uh, yeah, this released in 2016. I was in sixth grade, and I just I would watch every single uh, video that Pokemon made, like all the trailers for it. I was so hyped, and I remember getting it. And me and my family went out to dinner, and I was playing this game at dinner, which was really funny. Now I'm thinking back at it, but I, I I've played this game multiple multiple times, and I think they're really good. But I think my problem with them is. I don't know if anyone else felt this, but the, just the dialogue and how much talking there was in early game and just in the game in general, I feel like there was so much more dialogue than normal, but I, I did like how they kind of switched it up. Instead of doing gym leaders, you would face the, you know, the alpha Pokemon, or I don't think they called it the alpha Pokemon, but you wouldn't have gym leaders. It was a little bit different. And I wasn't sure how it was going to play out, but I'm actually kind of glad they did that because it was a different experience. So I'm going to put this uh, generation of games at an A tier. Now, as you're seeing, there's nothing in C and D. And to be honest, I don't think there's going to be any games here that are going to be in that C or D category just because... I really like every single one of these games and maybe like you could put maybe like these games here in C tier but I'm not quite sure so here we go here's Pokemon Omega Ruby we'll put that up there with Alpha Sapphire and then we'll put Pearl um, up there with Diamond now here we got Platinum and to be honest I don't think I ever played Platinum um, other, yeah, I don't think I ever played Platinum because I always had Pokemon Pearl. So, to be honest, I don't know where I can rank this one, but I know a lot of people like it. They they added, you know, Garantina in there, and they also added, like, the Space Realm or whatever. That was cool. I have watched people play it. So, I think I might as well just put it up there with the other uh, Gen 4 games. So, yeah. Pokemon Red can go up there with Pokemon Blue and B tier. And all, now we got Ruby and Sapphire. And I have Pokemon Emerald up there. But I think Emerald is the best version you can play between Gen 3. So I'm going to put Ruby and Sapphire in A tier as well. And here we got Pokemon Silver, I believe. And I'm probably just going to put it in there also because I, I never really played those games that much so i'm just gonna put them b tier you know i don't i know they're really really great games but we're just gonna put them b tier because why not we got soul silver here and soul silver is gonna go with pokemon heart gold up there and now we get on to the pokemon ultra moon and ultra sun now i did say there might not be any in c tier and d tier but I think, now realizing it, we're going to put a couple games in there. And I'm going to put Ultra Moon and Ultra Sun in C tier. And the reason I'm putting it in C tier is just because whenever Pokemon Sun and Moon released, I was expecting a new game right after it. And I was excited for one. Actually, right when Sun and Moon released and they were, you know expecting a new game i was actually kind of wanting a pokemon diamond and pearl remake back then and they come out and they say oh no we're gonna remaster the games ultra moon ultra sun or moon and, moon and sun and we're gonna make new games out of them kind of like how they did with black o or not black ops uh pokemon black and pokemon you know black 2 and you know i was all right with it but when I played them, it was kind of the same thing. There was slight differences, but still, I wanted a new game, not really, you know, another Sun and Moon. I didn't put 
that many hours into these games. I did beat them. I probably put 30 to 40 hours into them, which is, you know, still quite a little bit, but I didn't play any of the post game or I didn't try to go and get, you know, the whole Pokedex or anything. So that's why I'm going to put it in C tier. So here we go, put black, there's white too, and then Pokemon black. And then now we're getting into Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Th these games are probably the most nostalgic games on this list, and for a reason. I got these games when I was 10 years old, and this was. Th these games are the games I've put the most amount of hours in on any other list. Maybe Pokemon Emerald and Pokemon Fire Red up there, maybe. But I think Pokemon Y was the game I played every single day. I watched a ton of content on it on YouTube, but watched a bunch of YouTubers about this game, and I, I love the game. I know a lot, not a lot of people may not like this game as much as any of the other classics, but personally, for me, these games are S tier. I have so much fun. I've beat them multiple, multiple times. And again, over 400, 500 hours on my original playthrough. I caught every single Pokemon, or at least I almost caught every single Pokemon. And I had so much fun with those games, and that's why I'm putting them up at, C, or at S tier. And then here we got Pokemon Yellow. We'll just put that with uh, these also at B tier, just because I never played it. But one of my favorite things about this game is that, you know, the Pokemon would follow you, which I always loved, and I wish they did that, like, in a lot of these other games, but they didn't really start doing that until Let's Go, and then obviously they had it in Switch, or in, in these games down here. And these games down here, the last games on this list, are actually really, really good games in my opinion. I have a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with these games, Sword and Shield. I got it on day one also. I remember playing it at school day one, and that was freshman year. And then I loved it so much that I wanted to play more of it. So I decided to catch every single Pokemon, and I did. So I think I'm going to put this at A tier, but it also had amazing DLC. Two DLC packs with the Frozen Tundra, you know, being a really, really great one. And the other one was fine, but, you know, Fr Frozen Tundra was really, really good. So, yeah, that was my tier list. Uh, you know, this is just my opinion, so please don't get triggered that I put Pokemon, you know, Let's Go and B tier or anything. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.